Stop the Madness. The Cleveland Five Piece are currently touring across Europe, sandwiched between the two bands who are featured next in this week's tour report. Life of Agony hail from Brooklyn in New York and last year released their acclaimed debut album, River Runs Red. The band's style is rooted in the hardcore scene of their home city. But in vocalist Keith Caputo, they possess a man capable of breaking the boundaries of the genre. Headliners Propane were formed from the ashes of hardcore legends, the Crumb Suckers. The album Foul Taste of Freedom was first brought to our attention at Foundations Forum in 1992 and has proved hugely popular aided by the constant touring in the U.S. The band have now recruited guitarist Nick St. Dennis and are about to record their second album, The Truth Hurts. But before that, they decided to show us what all the fuss was about. Like I said, the environment has, you know, somewhat to do with music, the way it changes and the way it's formed. But I think it has a lot to do with your personal values and personal feelings that when it comes to Life of Agony, how we write has a lot to do with personal values, you know, personal feelings. And it's like a personal diary opened up to the public. You know? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. It's like a diary that we made. River Runs Red is like our opening, you know, pages to our diary that we just started writing at least for the to public. the public, you know. That's what it's all about. Yep. right away categorize, you know, a lot of bands just because they're from New York without giving a listen, you know. But lately, I think um, what's separating us, us in particular, from the rest of these New York hardcore bands, which, you know, I wouldn't put them down ever. They're great bands, but Keith is starting to sing more. He sings in a lot of his songs, you know, instead of screams, which, you know, starting. captures... Well... Starting. Uh, <laughs> which captures a lot of people's attention, you know. It's, he's doing something different with still keeping that heavy, hard you know, edge. hard edge music, but still, you know, he wants to, he sings clearly and you understand him, so it's a little different. And people are starting to pick up on that.
being uh, one of the songwriters, you know, uh, not lyrically, I write a lot, you know, a lot of riffs, you know, that go into the songs. Um, it just came naturally, you know, it's weird to say, you know, we didn't make any special formulas or anything to make the music we did. It's just music that came right from our heart, right from our soul, you know. It's and, a lot uh, of hard work too, you know. It's mm -hmm. like uh, going to the studio three times a week and, you know, it starts to become natural, you know. Yeah. Rather than just sitting and thinking about what you write next, you know. Yeah, it's just a natural flow. We've been, we haven't been stuck for material yet, mm. so I don't plan on being stuck. What this uh, record is going to try to do, what we were trying to do, is maybe uh, tell people take your problems, you know, face your problems. You know, this person on this record, this teenager, had a lot of problems, obviously, and he took the, the easy way out, which was suicide. You know, a, a lot of people have been telling me since they listened to my record, have been facing their problems, you know, don't want to take that way out because it's not the right way out. And uh, it, our album could be used as a learning experience, I guess, you know. There are people who have a lot of problems and uh, just want to, you want to take your problems by the uh, bouillons, as they would say in Italian. And uh, yeah, a lot of people are, tend to like nurse their problems and not talk to anybody, you know, and just kill themselves, you know. Self-destruction. Yeah. <laughs> You know, a lot of bands are political and, have, and a lot to deal with religion and whatnot. And that's something like we can't stand, you know? We don't have any political outlooks, you know? You know, politics, you know, are, are too important to leave to the politicians, but, you know, we just don't even get involved, you know? We're just emotional, you know? We're always hanging out together. We're just, we're just very deep with each other and, like, our close friends. And I guess it, you know, rubs off on our music, you know? Why not be deep with the music, too? So. I think uh, living in New York does have an effect. You know, your environment has an effect on you, whatever you do, whether it be work, you know, go to school, anything, you know, your environment is gonna have an effect, and it does have an effect in the music because there is anger in the music. And of course, your environment where you live is gonna have somewhat of an effect, even if you don't realize it, in the music. Yeah, a lot of frustration. Yeah, it's just a lot of stuff going on. You know, in New York, too much mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, there's a lot around you, and there's a lot you gotta watch out for.
mellow stuff rather than, you know, aggressive. He's more into, like, aggressive music. Yeah. I'm more into, like, mm -hmm. Sinead O'Connor and Eddie Lennox, My Bloody Valentine type music. He's I'm into more stuff like Metallica and White Zombie and Sepultura. Yeah. And, you know, bands that, like... So, I mean, and, and you put all of that together and you have, like, that, and, you know, I mean, yeah. all of our... All of our influences. Yeah, and goes in together, you know. Got a lot of influences. Roger Waters is another great influence of mine. You know. Alan and Sal listen to bands like the Beatles. Black Sabbath, John which is Lennon. Which a European band. The Beatles have a strong influence on this band. Yeah, John Lennon, you know. So a lot know, of different types, you know. Black right? Sabbath. Yeah. So we have a lot of, we got it. It's like a big mix. It's just like one big mixing bowl. Yeah. Big yeah. soup. The chemical worked right guys. It works, yeah. That was Propane live at the Marquee last week, and they're on tour in Europe for the next few weeks with Life of Agony and the Spud Monsters. We have a break on the way now, but before that, we have time to give you the news.